that into rats for sure. Who's there? Witcher Geralt. Get in here. The boss awaits upstairs. You bloody tell us what this is about. Just as soon as Geralt arrives. Should he arrive? You won't plow and talk. The least you can do is pour around. Bloody suspension made my throat dry. Witcher, at last. Now, we're all present. Run up the fucking creek. Why have you summoned us? Radovid's on his ship. We'll not get to him there, I've told you. Stop it! I have an idea how to draw him onto dry land. But all in due course. Let's start by confessing our sins. I let Philippa Eilhart in on our plan. I a cobra. Bravo! Bloody bravo! Now, now. It's not a disaster. The Lady Sorceress is highly unlikely to warn the brat. What's more, she's willing to help us kill him. Naturally, it's nothing I'll ever agree to. But Phil, she's inspired me. Call her my muse. Inspired you to do what? Patience. We've yet to get to the substance of the matter. Geralt, do I recall correctly that Radovitz hired you to find Philippa? Mm -hmm. Only thing I've found is her hideout. What's your point? We can use Philippa without involving her, provided you help. Radovid expects you to report to him, bring him information about her. All you need to do is mention her name, intimate that you've a lead, you're on her trail. Oh, he'll swallow that. Hook, line, sinker, and a good bit of the rod as well. Let's say Radovid bites, believes me, and none of that's a given. What then? You'll tell him you've found Philippa's hideout, somewhere where we can easily set a trap and ambush. Suggestions? Bridge to Temple Isle, built up both sides, lots of nooks, gates, easy to block off from the rest of the city. Good idea. I'll divide my men, post half on one end, other half on the other, by the gate. And in the middle, Vess, with a well-oiled crossbow. You see, Geralt, all we ask is that you invite Radovid out for a stroll, bring him to the bridge. We'll take care of the rest. So what'll it be? I'm in. But once it's done, what then? There'll be an uproar in the city. Panic, maybe. Need a place where we can wait it out. Thought of that already. Remember Madame Arena's theater? Abandoned now, not a soul looks in there. Tala and I will await you there. Await us? Unwilling to risk your own necks? Not the point. Dijkstra and I have many cocksucking virtues, but fighting ability is just not one of them. I'm as fit for that as we are for a bleeding beauty pageant. Don't worry, Geralt. My people are battle hardened. They'll manage. You just bring them the kid. Do what I can. Where's his ship moored these days? Just around the corner in Novograd's port. And for your sake, I hope he's in a good mood when you look in on him. The bridge must be clear. My lads will make sure of that. Guards round the temple, what about them? Won't they bloody congregate when they see the fight? If they're paid a tidy sum, they won't. Philippa, what the hell are you doing here? Geralt, don't ask questions you know the answers to. It makes you look stupid. Eve's dropping on your conversation, naturally, with a good deal of interest and a measure of wonder. Mind telling me what you found puzzling? Your naivety. Do you honestly believe Radovid will fall for such a crude ruse? Radovid's lost his mind, doesn't think rationally anymore. That's why. That is why he may very well choose to torture you, even if you brought me to him in chains. Just because. Philippa, uh, why even tell me this? Concerned about me that much? Not at all. It's because I think it vital that Radovid die. 
You don't want my help, more for pity. But I shall do what I can to make certain you don't fuck it up. Here, take this. A ring. Redanian eagle etched in the ruby. It belonged to Vizimir, Radovid's father. Hand him that, and he may believe you captured me. He might even choose to trust you. What's the catch? There is none. Philippa, I know you too damn well. Always got a plan. Always got at least two irons in the fire. This time I shall be content with one. Radovid's head planted at its end. Good luck, Geralt. You'll need it. Take it easy. Mutant. <sighs> Witcher Geralt, what do you want? An audience. Got new information about Philippa Eilhart. I'll need your weapons. Now follow me. Your Majesty, the Witcher, with news of Philippa Eilhart. I hope you brought something better than magic crystals this time. I know where she is. Perhaps. Or perhaps you seek to trick me, like the others. What others? Uh, you see, a rumor went around that I'd generously reward any who bring information about Eilhart. There's no shortage of the greedy and the stupid, so a queue quickly formed at the gangway to the ship. The first aboard was a hunter. Brought me a dead owl with no eyes. He thought I'd believe it, shower him with gold. I had him blinded then thrown overboard with a stone tied round his neck. The second was the postmaster from Oxenfurt, claimed to have a letter she'd penned. It was forged, of course. I had his fingers cut off. He'll never write again. Oh, and I took his tongue. The spoken lie is just as reprehensible. Needless to say, the rest of the queue dispersed quickly. I'm a professional. Got a reputation to uphold. Be stupid of me to come to you empty-handed. My father's ring. Philippa used it to stamp her decrees, then distribute them as the word of the king. Where is she? Under your nose, sire. In Novigrad, in a house on the bridge leading to Temple Isle. Why haven't you brought her to me? Gotta capture someone to take them anywhere. All I did was track her down. 
then stole this ring as proof that I had. Do you fear her? No. You want to kill her yourself. With your own hands. I know this. You shall come with me. Hubrecht, gather the men. How many, sire? All of them. Well, where is she? Where is Philippa? Like I said, house on the bridge, closer to the other end. Close off this end. We need no guests, no innocent bystanders, or witnesses. Damian, Duke, Egbert, Freak, Kaspar, you shall stay here, secure the rear, and kill the Witcher. This how you reward those who serve you? It is how I punish those who irritate me. You know too much. You impede me too often, and I find your arrogance an annoyance. I've had men killed for less. Follow me. Any last words? Oh. Fuck! Free the Witcher, then run of it. Get to Radovid before reinforcements arrive. Open up! I command you to open the door! You needed merely to ask. That's 
settles the score. And that was from the heart. Forgive me. I could not deny myself the pleasure. How did she... Where? Why? How the fuck? Eve's dropped on us, back at the warehouse. What? And you didn't think it worth mentioning? Lads, the time to discuss this is later. Radovid is dead. It matters not by whose hand. Mission accomplished. Now let's get the hell away. Place will be thick with Redanians in minutes. Let's go. Well, what? Is it done? It's done. The wall did not go according to plan. More on that later. First a stiff drink and a toast. The North. Temeria. Temeria! Bloody Temeria! Sure this isn't premature. Radovid's dead, but it's a long way from that to a free Temeria. War's not over, not even close. You're mistaken. Tomorrow at noon, the commander of Army Group Center will sign a truce in Amir's name. A truce whose wording we agreed with Dijkstra. So back there in Velen, when the trolls nabbed you? Yes, I was returning from the last round of talks. Amir will keep Edion and Lyria, but in exchange for Radovid's head and a stop to guerrilla activities, he will withdraw from Temeria which will become the Empire's vassal state. Self-ruled internally, with its own courts, administrative structures and army. The silver lilies will bloom neath the rays of the great sun. So I say were I a poet. But I'm not, so all I'll say is there was no other fucking way. haven't told me the whole truth. You're right on that account. We know you're bloody allergic to politics, decided to emphasize mages and whatnot. If it were done when tis done, then twere well it were done quickly. That but this blow might be the be-all and end-all here. What's that? Vakmeth, Act 1, Scene 7. Always wanted to play that. Never cast as anything but a halberdier. Geralt, what Tala told you, put it out of your mind. There will be no truce with Nilfgaard. Redania, under my enlightened rule, will fight on until it wins. And when it does, it will unite all the North, including Temeria. What? Ow! This is not what we plow and agreed. True. Instead, we insisted on one realm's questionable sovereignty, and to recover it, we gave Amir virtually all the North's other kingdoms. It was not a wise arrangement. So, no deal. You two-faced horseman. I will not allow this. Actually, you, Roach, should be the first to understand I've no choice. Why the hell would I understand? Because you two are a patriot. Geralt, this doesn't concern you. You may go. Fare thee well on your path, or what not. Can't let you kill them, Dijkstra. Oh, hard luck. Then you'll die with them. Kill them all. Come on.
Bloody hell! Bugger me sideways! That was close. Very close. It's hardly over. The envoy, due to meet the Nilfgaardians tomorrow. No doubt Dijkstra ordered him killed. We'll need to protect him. Sorry, you're on your own, I've... You've had your fill of politics, I understand. Once it's over, come to Vizima. You'll be received with honors. Farewell, Wolf. <laughs>